everyone welcome to Higan Eruthil. before we start with the video this is not a sponsored video by the way but I might add that this package if you don't have Fen in your roster you can actually get this this is of great value already uh, especially if you're a light spender I would suggest that you get this account Fen if you don't have her can really help you progress with her aoe um damage um if you don't have her this is going to be a bonus for you guys even if you're free to play try considering spending at least a dollar because again she will go a long way in helping you progress okay so that's it this is not a sponsored video okay so just wanna you know show you good value that i see in the start so by the way i didn't get fen i have her in my roster I summoned for her, so we'll go to that in a while. So now I'm in day two. You guys are probably in day two already. I overcame level 29, which everybody usually has a problem with. If you haven't seen my video on overcoming level 29, it's up there, the link. So check it out. And um, credit concerns, as I mentioned before, um, Right now, I'm at 275. It has been a very expensive, expensive upgrade. Okay? Don't think that the upgrades won't, you know, won't uh, run after you, but they did. So, so far, most of my peeps are at level 50. They haven't been fully upgraded yet up this up to this point. So, I'm, I'm lacking in credits. I told you guys that you'll be, you know, You'll be lacking credits eventually. So all you have to do is actually farm. Stay. We're just going to go back out. Uh, farm stages wherein you could get credit. But farm. Also. Also. Uh, let's go to the shop before you go to the fa go to farming. So you might buy credit here. So where are the credits that you can, you know, you can buy this one is a good one because this will take you to the next phases. So I'm going to buy this. This is going to be only be five. So that's a 600. So there's 20,000. Uh, Nilo. Um, gold. Uh, credit is a nice buy here to start. So let's buy credit here. So you can buy credit in the store. You don't really have to farm them and waste energy. No, no, not, not wasting energy, but consuming energy. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Here, I would not suggest using this currency for credit because um, you'll need this for this one, the these three here. You'll need to save up to buy them. Then, okay, let's just uh, go back here. This one is a nice play to have. This is increased skill damage by 20% and increased skill damage by 2 every second up to... 15 stacks. Casting skill will consume all stacks. This I'm using with media, by the way. So, to increase her skill damage. So, team fight. No. This one, if this is for PvP, this is a PvP currency. This can be also used, um, but the currency for PvP might be better used for buffs. And the Eternal Shop, which I don't have a view of. So those are my recommended um, areas where you can buy credit. Um, moving on to farming for credit. So you can see here that you cannot move this. You have to be at 50. So this is the only stage that you can farm. So farm this as long as you need to. Um, do not farm this hard because, again... The higher you get, the more credits you can farm. And eventually, credit will just be, you know, will just come to you eventually. And if you guys um, have forgotten, you can actually get your credits here. The longer, the, 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 the further you go for the story, the more this generates for you. Okay. Right now, with my um, Vanguard account, I'm at 30,000 at 100% every... That is why credits will eventually come to you and you won't be able to, to, to farm credits in the future. You will have enough credits to level up everybody. So I'm actually 
I actually got Rita. Just to segue, I got Rita um, off the Iluya banner. It's an off pull, a single pull. I'm happy, very happy because I noticed that I needed, I needed a um, a high damage dealer for single targets. I don't, which I don't, which I have media, but again, you have to have a pair for her to clear some stages. So again, I'm happy with this with my roster. Um, let's go back to Rita. So Rita, um, if you haven't seen my guide on Rita, um, the build guide that I had for Rita, I'm going to put it again up there so that you guys can check it out. Um, so just want to upgrade Rita here. You also have to farm these babies here. Aside from, aside from what do you call this, aside from your gold your that is for your level up so same same what they call the same um issue so you have to just click on diorama battle then also do not do not farm as um farm as far as far as you can with limit so i'm i think i can farm this one so let's just farm this again if you guys are struggling with day two it's because you haven't really um you haven't really maxed what you did in gay in 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 day in day one so if you have maxed out your tasks and the things to do i i assume that you'll be ending at uh what do you call this you'll be ending at level level what do you call this level 29 in which uh you can easily go over that by the second day so let's just fight this one so again do not over a farm stages because once you unlock further stages they would give you better rewards okay so just uh do this farming just once i actually haven't maxed out my settings that is why it's lagging at this point but playing on my phone I have no problem so that is it okay so again try to open as you know as far as you can in terms of uh, the stages let's see if this I think the next stage is restricted to level 50 so we'll have to farm this stage eventually no it's still open so I can farm this I think that the next one is restricted to level 50 but I don't have energy so Let's go back to the roster. So again, for Rita, um, she's one of my additions. The roster that you see here is going to be is gonna need tinkering moving forward. Although this roster is already good for farming, what I do, what I bring is Gildan. Uh, right now, I'm bringing Fen, uh, Media, and Roko. That is my priority. Just in case I would need single target damage dealers, I can swap out Finn for Rita eventually. So that is a strategy up to now. Screamer is a nice to have support that I can, I can swap out with Roko. But for harder stages, I need really pure healing. That is why I'm bringing Roko with me. So what next for this roster, which I think you, you also have a problem. Um, there's a problem in terms of the elemental availability of my heroes. I don't have wind and ice at this point. <laughs> I can actually choose any of these down here. So I haven't reached the point where I needed other elemental needs. So um, next up is to secure a wind and an ice character or hero. To probably support my team as a whole so that is one of the priorities uh, priority going back again is upgrading Rita moving her up to the level you know same level as them including skill and um, so far I'm happy with the roster I just need to finish this um, banner here I I want to get to Luya she is also a nice one to have especially if you want to cut through and dash towards the you know the back portion of your enemies she is actually very good at that and burst damage is is excellent and 
Last up, I think at this point, guys, you are you are already you have already unlocked place. So this one is the play that I got from Euphoria. I transferred it to Finn. Uh, be careful when you use plays. I'll create a separate video for plays in terms of um, who are you know the, the good enough plays that you can use, especially if you're starting out, and who are the plays that you should look after or probably save up for or um, anticipate in terms of future banners. So with this, for the meantime, one of the things that you can do um, is you can actually summon here. But again, let's check out the pool. If um, the pool here, this this one, this is the high, you know, high rate up. So this one, this play is actually good for assassins who have their, you know, HP going up and down. So the lower the HP, the the higher the damage they, you know, they deal. But more or less, the rate drops are the same. So right now, unless if you're if you are prioritizing Iluya, if you're prioritizing Iluya, then you should go for this banner. If not, then I would suggest that you move to one of the Outland stages, which is uh, Realm Fighters Mesmerizing Labyrinth. So this stage here, let's just start this. Your rewards here are also plays. Could be green and blue plays. That is usually the rarity. It improves as you move through the other um, labyrinths. So for now, it's going to be green and blue. And also, you'll be getting materials here to be able to upgrade your place. So I would suggest for day two, you, uh, what do you call this? You farm this stage up until you have no more entries for this one. Because this is also crucial in equipping your other heroes with plays and also upgrading your existing one. So, okay, this is what I'm gonna do the tutorial right now for the mesmerizing, you know, labyrinth. This labyrinth uh, increases in increases in difficulty as you move along. So, preferably, um, I would suggest that you go after the battle stages more often in the early. These are ten. These are basically ten. Um, portions of the labyrinth as you can see here I got a play I got uh, materials for uh, for upgrade and currency for the store more or less try to get also the these are buffs so the buffs are going to be the buffs are going to improve your team as you go along the longer you go through the labyrinth which is 10 stages the the, the more difficult the, the 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 enemies are so be careful on what you choose because this will impact your progress and more excuse me <laughs> i just had lunch so um this one is investigate this is not a battle this is usually the battle and what i like with battles is they give you additional power so your 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 group power increases more or less with battles if you don't go through a battle let's let's go through this and let's see how much of a what they call this how much of a a increase in battle battle power or combat power do, do you get so let's just make a comparison these are lower stages. They're, these are very easy, so you could really clear them without, you know, without batting an eyelash. So right now, make sure that, um, oh, as well, be careful if one of your, you know, one of your heroes are killed. You cannot use them anymore, but you can resurrect them in one of the checkpoints here. So, um bonus effect so your power is plus to one four okay so if you go through these these are these are supply areas if you go through a supply area um let's check if you have um let's let's just do some checking here so the supply area is basically you rearm your you know 
you additional HP. You resurrect somebody here if um, if your what they call this if your character has died and restores ultimate energy to everyone. This is it. And again, uh, there is going to be buffs for every stage. So your power increase as well. So as you go up. So this one, let's try this. This is serendipity. Let's see how much it increases. So basically, for every stage, uh, it increases. I think um, when you do battle, it's it ha it has more of an increase. I haven't really tried it out because more or less when when I go through stages, I just go through battle. Uh, let's uh, go through this. So six forty. So for battle, now you have orange. This, this, these are more difficult. These are um, kind of the easiest ones to go after. So again, for every choice, you have to make sure that you make the right choice. Uh, every stage gives you more combat power, which helps you ultimately in taking out the boss at the end. So the boss is at stage 10. So let's just uh, go over with this. Okay. I don't think you have a problem. You have a high combat power anyway. So uh, as long as uh, Roko heals you and keeps on healing you, I don't think you'll have a problem with your the lower stages. The problem is if you arrive at the, the, the top most stages... It, and you don't you know you haven't you have a low hp then you'll have a problem i forgot i didn't have uh i, I didn't put it in auto so everybody wasn't able to cast their skills okay and their ultimates okay so there you go so let's see what the increase here is let's just take okay it's 428 so more or less each of the you know each of these this one let's try the difficult ones and let's see how big of an ad, an add to combat power the most difficult stages are so again you have to make sure that you balance your existing hp with the stages that you are you know encountering because again you might have to resurrect somebody if if they die so right now this is the a difficult stage with decent HP. So I'm at auto already. So more or less um, healing will be more consistent. I forgot to put an um I forgot to on that button there. So so far healing is actually consistent. No problem. So so far Gildan is surviving. And I think this won't be a problem, even if this is the hardest stage. So let's see if the harder the stage, the the you know, the higher the combat power that you will be getting. So again, getting that. A do it tricks. Let's get this one for healing. So not really. It plus to sixty seven increase. So. My theory is for each stage that you, you encounter, it's roughly a, a random increase. There's no pattern that I see whether you choose a battle, whether you choose this one. Supply for the supply, as you can see, will be getting more HP here. Okay, so just tap this. Let's get some HP and let's go out. So everybody re uh, gets more HP. Oh, let's go get this one. Okay, so it's it's bigger. So again, um, it doesn't really matter whichever you choose. The effects, the, the, the combat power bonuses are actually random. It's not actually ind indicated even before you come in how much combat power you'll be getting. This one is investigate. So let's investigate this and uh, probably go out after this one. Again, I'm demoing the mesmerizing labyrinth for you guys so that you will have an easier time, um, you know, selecting or choosing this one. This is actually this is actually um, stories here. 
So if you answer the right question, the right answer, then you will Again, I'm I'm bad at answering questions. I don't read actually. <laughs> so let's see. I think for this one, the, the the more right questions that you have, why is it answering for me? I haven't clicked anything. There you go. So bonuses there. So your power is plus 640. Again, it's a random plus. Probably um I notice is every stage you go up. It's uh there's also a merchant here. So the merchant uh, can't leave it. Probably finish up until the boss at the last part. So the merchant here is sometimes they, they have good items, sometimes no. So if you are confident that you're okay with your status, you can actually purchase some items here that you will you might need. So not that I'm interested. I don't think I'm interested in what uh, she has to she has to sell, but more or less if you won't buy from the merchant it's actually a waste of a stage so this one i am at the ninth floor already so let's just finish this this is serendipity this is um i think also a question stage so you have various choices actually on how no that this is an outright bonus it's a box so just want to make an example here energy recovers okay so plus 640 again there so this is the last stage this is the boss let's see how we can clear this one i cleared this one already so hopefully i can clear this one again um sometimes if you make the wrong choices you can't clear the same stage so I'm assuming that I am good. This one, this boss is is kind of annoying actually. It uh, has a shield, it delays your time, and it uh, also generates more HP for itself. It also has minions um, at some point. So I do not know. This is this is actually a new boss that they put in for global. This boss wasn't in the soft launch, so I'm actually really happy that I'm encountering new things in global. So shield burst, just to pile on more damage here. So I were at nine eight. There you go. In a while it will yeah, There you go. There's the shield that I'm talking about. So you have to destroy the minions while. It's in shield mode. So basically, Fen's uh, AoE damage helps. And um, we'll just have to make sure that the shield ends. And after the shield ends, it will actually gain HP. Oh, it did gain HP. It, it, did, it, it, it went straight to shield burst. Which is nice because I can kill it now. Okay. That was good. Okay, so that is that's that is it. So as for your haul, this is your haul. So just have to keep on farming the stage. Probably get place for each and you know every one of your your heroes. If you're strong enough, actually, you can go through the next uh what do you call this? The next uh, labyrinth, which is stronger. But again, be, uh, the recommended power is here, 17,000. So I'm just here. So I won't be farming this for a while. I'll be farming this one. So hopefully that helped. Again, the shop, the, the currency that you're going to be prioritizing for now is you have to get this, the 70%. This is a nice play to have for media. Um, I've been using it and that it, that is it so far, guys. Hopefully, um, 
more or less my progress and your progress is more or less the same comment down in the comment section if uh, you think your progress is better than mine or worse than mine in any which case let's just help each other so if you need more help in the comment section please put them down again mesmerizing labyrinth is the way to go right now for day two because you need more plays and i think this one uh, this currency is going to be available i think three per day but if you don't use it it's going to accumulate every day i'm, I'm not sure if it is a cap but that's it. it you can't re you can't really refill it so you just have to farm consistently if you are impatient enough then you can actually wish for place here and get more place here so that is it i'll be putting out a more extensive play guide um priority video for you guys uh probably in the next few days hopefully i could make it tonight but Again, more videos for today. So this is just the first. So take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.